the first thing you think of, you're not thinking, you know, it's going to be cancer. It was leukemia. So mm -hmm. our whole world flipped upside down and now we're trying to readjust. A world flipped upside down on April 4th when nine-year-old Nate was diagnosed with leukemia. It was originally suspected that Nate, a Missouri native, was dealing with a bad stomach flu, but that quickly changed just a day later. And his hemoglobin was 1.6, and it's supposed to be around 12. So, I mean, he was on the verge of not being with us anymore. Nate's family quickly called an audible, packing up their things and leaving Missouri for Memphis, Tennessee, where Nate would be treated at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And that is where a football connection was made. His family was connected with the Hog Farmers, a nonprofit run by a group of Redskins fans. They helped out with the cost of essential items like food and gas, and made sure Nate had plenty of fun activities to keep his mind off of treatment, something that was much needed after the hospital's toys and playrooms were unavailable due to COVID-19. Really helped, and uh, he got a Thor's hammer that says Nate Strong on it. That was really fun. He carries that everywhere with him. Even those who are Nate Strong need some encouragement every once in a while. And the Hog Farmers brought together football fans from all over the country to send Nate videos of encouragement. Hey, hey Nate! Nate. Hi, Nate. Hey, Nate. We all love you. We're all thinking about you. I know it's tough, buddy, but you'll get through it. Nate thought it was the coolest thing in the whole world. Like every time someone would say, hi, Nate, he'd wave back to it, thinking they were actually, you know, through a Zoom meeting or a messenger call. So yeah. he would say hi back every time. Now with a new set of teammates by his side, Nate gets to celebrate a big win. After about eight weeks at St. Jude, he's back home in Missouri and in remission. Two months after his family's world, was flipped upside down. He is so strong while we were coming home from Memphis. I said, Nate, I said, you beat cancer. He goes, wait, I had cancer? So he didn't even know. <laughs> In Norfolk, Megan Plain with the Chevrolet Sports Report.